Secretary, Understate Secretary for Health, Mr. Uwe Moravic, founding chairman of the National Peace Foundation, Professor Donstein Wiesel, no for medicine in 1981, on the topic Science for Peace. We are thankful to Chairman Uwe Moravic and to Professor Donstein Wiesel for selecting the University of Health Science to host this memorable event. This university, established in 1946, originally as the School for Medical Officer, was abandoned and severely damaged during the Pol Pot time from 1979 to 1975 to 1979. The, the university reopened its doors in 1980 with barely any resources. Since then, with support from France, Japan, the Republic of Korea, Germany, international organization and non-governmental organization, as well as collaborating universities and institutions within and outside Cambodia, the university has supplied almost health workers to the health workforce in Cambodia, thus greatly contributing to the royal 
of the royal government of Cambodia led by Samdak Aket Mahasena Pakde De Chuhun Sen in the restoration and improvement of the population health and well-being. Today, the, UN, the university is proud to be associated with the International Peace Foundation to organize a session of a series of bridge dialogues toward a culture of peace. We strongly believe that our distinguished guests and participants will actively interact with Professor Tonsten on how science can contribute to peace worldwide and especially in Cambodia. Thank you. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, friends. Welcome to the third ASEAN event series, Bridges, Dialogues Towards a Culture of Peace. Bridges is facilitated by the International Peace Foundation, which is a non-political and non-religious foundation under the patronage of 21 Nobel Peace Prize laureates based in Vienna, Austria. The events are hosted in cooperation with various local partners including the country's major universities, and I would like to thank the University of Health Sciences Cambodia and its rector, Professor Om Sopal, for hosting our event today. Having started in November last year, Bridges is now being continuously held until April this year, involving the participation of Nobel laureates for peace, physics, chemistry, medicine, and economics as well as other eminent keynote speakers and artists such as Chen Long, the Hong Kong actor Chucky Chan, or Hollywood film director Oliver Stone, and also world-renowned pianist Vladimir Ashkenazi, who will perform at Chaktamuk Theatre on the 9th of March. The third ASEAN series of Bridges is an independent contribution to the Decade for Culture of Peace and Nonviolence which was initiated by the United Nations General Assembly. It follows the series of 350 Bridges events, which the International Peace Foundation has already hosted in Thailand, the Philippines, and Malaysia since 2003. Bridges has been established as an international, intercultural, and interdisciplinary platform for creative cultures of learning and continued education for all people. The International Peace Foundation has no concept for peace and no fixed solution how to achieve peace. But we believe that the first step towards peace is dialogue and the first step towards dialogue is respect. The International Peace Foundation does not take sides but acts as a mediator by creating an independent platform for dialogue where people meet who normally don't meet people from all walks of life, people who speak different languages, even if they speak the same. As politicians speak another language than artists, and scientists and religious leaders another one than people from business, it is seldom that they speak with each other or even work together. We live in a world where some people pretend to know the answers and solutions how to solve problems, how to achieve peace, though the quest for peace lies in the art to post the right questions. The International Peace Foundation believes that the interconnected problems of today cannot be solved only by politicians, only by business, only by science, or by religion alone, but by working together. In the British event series, People from all walks of life meet in a multidisciplinary program to find creative solutions to solve problems and to, to achieve peace. Peace within ourselves, peace within our families, within social structures, peace with nature and the environment, peace between nations, cultures, and religions. Peace is a process 
Dialogue is a process. It is nothing which can be achieved instantly. It needs time. This is why Bridges is not organized as one single conference and then everything is over again and forgotten, but as a series of events over the period of six months in which Nobel laureates and other keynote speakers build bridges with leaders in all parts of society and with the general public. Peace is not something which can be left to the elite of a few, but which needs the participation of everyone. Only if many ways cross and people walking these ways meet, can international understanding be achieved and problems commonly solved. If we listen to and learn from each other, we may discover that there is not only one way to achieve peace, but that there are many ways, and certainly ways we have never thought of to go. It is my pleasure to invite you today to listen to and share your views with Professor Thorsten Wiesel, a Nobel laureate for medicine who has agreed to come to Cambodia to help build bridges. We all look forward to his keynote speech and to his important contribution towards peace. Some awkward. Welcome to the national and international guests. It is a great honor for us to welcome Prof. Thorsten Wiesel and Madam, and the Chairman of the International Peace Foundation to the University of Health Science, Cambodia. We are delighted to meet with one of the world's leading scientists and to hear and discuss an important subject in the series of public meetings designed to promote a culture of peace. In Cambodia, we have only recently started to enjoy the benefits of peace and stability after many years of war. I hope that your presence today will help us to continue to find peaceful ways to develop our country. Cambodia is one of the world's least developed countries, and even though the recent economic crisis has shown that all countries in the world are connected economically. There is still a big gap between us and the developed world. We are separated by language, culture, and wealth, and in many other ways. So, a bridge between us and the developed world's great thinker can help us to exchange 